During the 1980s, I was assigned to a special military unit. And our task was to correlate information from the front line. We were involved in the Falklands conflict and also the war in Kuwait. I was stationed at the RAF Staff College in Bracknell in the south of England with the responsibility to help train future officers. Um, so I went through quite a rigorous um, interview process uh, in, in London and um, was sort of had to go through lots of training and stuff, but um, I eventually got posted and I got posted to an army unit for, for four years and then I progressed to the RAF unit in, down south. We didn't actually have to be... Um, with any firearms at all, um, sadly. I did have a, a, a couple of trips in a tank and in a helicopter, um, but that was to get me somewhere, and it was just... I, I could have taken the bus. I think I think they just wanted to sort of give the whole sort of sense of being in the military, which was a bit more exciting. There was no military compulsory training, as a, as a, like I didn't have to be particularly fit or do any crazy jumping and swimming and running. Um, it was it was more about um, they just wanted to see if you had a sort of sound mind to take on tasks that you wouldn't tell other people about. I think the Falklands conflict was more exciting because it was because I was fairly young and it was the first one, and there was dreams of getting on the task fleet, Margaret Thatcher's ships sailing to the Falklands. That was that was the dream. The most important tool of the trade at the time was letter set, very very important part of. The graphics officer tool box was the odd letter set. We used to go through heaps of it. 